In the old days, you used to get interest income. But in today's world of 0% interest at banks and now high inflation, what are you to do? Well, interest income is back. It's 2021 and I'm going to show you how you can get 7% interest guaranteed safely. Stick around. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We are a channel that likes to hold physical gold and silver. To support my creation, please subscribe. There is a unique program that's dedicated to small investors that I'm going to show you about. In May of 2021, the Wall Street Journal called this the safe high return trade hiding in plain sight. And Money Magazine, November 2021, America's best kept secret is a savings bond from Uncle Sam. And then the New York Times recently said inflation bonds are getting a big rate pump. With the recent government measurement of high inflation, Wall Street Journal, the U.S. inflation hits 31-year high in October as consumer prices jump 6.2%. That's year over year. So because of that, there is actually a program to earn interest income. And Forbes magazine says how to earn 7% on safe bonds. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Please give this video a thumbs up because who else is telling you how to earn 7% on your savings in a safe way? The premise is, where can you put $1,000 in savings? Now, no system is perfect. And just because a system has a weakness doesn't mean you eliminate it. Every system has some strengths and some weaknesses. So the premise is $1,000 in a CD at a bank, parking it in silver and or gold in 2021, looking at a different year to see how that changes. And then the third alternative is this US I bond, which is an inflation adjusted savings vehicle. All right, so behind door number one, we have a bank certificate of deposit. In this case, this is a four month CD. In January, I have one that was worth $1,001.38. I looked at the statement for November, $1,001.53. So my CD in a bank has earned 15 cents for the year. In the old days, I had this passbook savings account from Compass Bank. And in 1994, I was getting a 6% return on my savings. And each and every month, I was getting $14, $18, $19 $18, a month in interest payments. This $21 interest payment in January of 1998 was 5.9% interest. So in the old days, I was getting $20 a month in interest each and every month. Today, I can barely eke out 15 cents for the whole year. So even if this was 4,000 like my bank book, I'd be getting 60 cents for the whole year. And now that we know that inflation is running at 6.2% according to the CPI numbers, that is not keeping up with inflation in any way, shape or form. Depending on your situation, you still may want to keep money in the bank for liquidity and for an emergency fund. So in this 0% interest paying world and with the fear of inflation and now the reality of inflation, people have looked to silver and gold as a way to hedge against inflation or to maintain their spending power into the future. Let's see how the metals have done over the last couple of years. So in 2021, if you started the year with $1,000 in silver or $1,000 in gold, frankly, by November, it's worth less. So you would have lost $40 in silver and $14 in gold. And the asterisk is that is the commodity price. The reality is if you had $1,000 in silver coins or $1,000 in gold coins, that complicates the numbers. But just looking at it as a commodity, you have lost money in 2021. But if you started in 2020, the $1,000 in silver or gold, 
there were actually big years last year. The silver would be worth 1474 at the end of 2020, and the gold would be worth 1244 at the end of 2020. So a $474 increase or a $244 increase. So I believe that gold and silver are a great hedge against inflation and a good way to store some of your savings longer term. But if your time horizon is a year or two, buyer beware. So if you buy silver today and you want to sell it tomorrow, you may actually find yourself at a loss and a deeper loss than what I'm showing here. So for a pure savings account, it has some limitation. I think we can all agree that bank CDs and savings accounts in no way, shape or form are paying any interest income and are not going to keep up with inflation. But there is a third way. The US I-Series bond, because of the inflation of today, is presently paying 7.12%. So $1,000 over the next year will grow $71. Hedge against inflation, guaranteed. Let's look at the details. So the US I bond interest rates change every six months based on the current government measured CPI inflation numbers. So let's look at the rate that have been willing to pay people over the last few years. So in May 2019, if you opened up a bond, you would get 1.9% interest rate. And that was based on the inflation at the time, plus other factors. But then that same bond, once November came around, they adjusted the rate to 2.2% going forward. So if you bought a new one, you got 2.2. If you had an old one, it was adjusted to 2.2. And then for the rest of 2020, it stayed in the 1% to 2% range. But now, in May 2021, it was adjusted to 3.4% interest going forward. But then November happened. Now it is now 7.12% interest rate, the highest this interest rate has ever been since this program started in 1998. Okay, so every six months, the U.S. Treasury adjusts this bond rate based off of the CPIU inflation measurement that the government makes. So the fixed rate in this case is zero, so we are living in a 0% interest rate world. The inflation rate based off of the CPIU is 3.56% just for six months. So the composite rate is a combination of the fixed and the inflation, which in this case is 7.12%. So there are years when the fixed rate could be one or 2%. So then that actually, you take that plus the inflation, but in this case, it's zero plus six months worth of inflation times two to annualize it. And then the fixed rate is zero. There's no inflation adjustment to the fixed rate. So you end up with 7.12. So let's look at a few more details. Here's a table of fixed rates over the years, a lot of zeros, but some years two or 3% rate plus the inflation that gets adjusted each six months. So we're talking about the 7.12% rate Say you had one that had the 3% cooked into it, you'd be getting over 10%. So if you hold on to them, they are adjusted each of the six months. So the bond protects you from inflation, but also deflation. Bond has had negative inflation cooked into the formula once in May 2009 during the 2009 financial crisis, but the rate was held at zero. It cannot go negative even if the CPI number is a large negative number. So once again, as banks could have negative rates in the future, this bond cannot go negative. Now, one restriction on this bond is that you have to hold the bond for one year. If you cash the bond in between year one and year five, you forfeit three months of interest. But considering, as we've shown in the banks, you get zero interest, I don't consider this an expensive trade-off. I would rather trade off three months of something than to not have any return on my money. So if you can hold the money for five years, you can cash them in any time without penalty from year five all the way through year 30. 
Another benefit is that you would pay no income or interest income tax on your gains at the state or local level. But at the federal level, you would pay taxes, but it's your choice. You can declare your interest income each year, or you can declare it when you redeem the whole bond at the finish line. Now, these I bonds can only be bought at the U.S. Treasury's website. You can't buy them or cash them in at a bank like in the old days. You need to be a U.S. citizen. You have to have a Social Security number and link your checking account to the Treasury to make a one-time or to authorize a monthly purchase. And see the website for maybe some more restrictions or even exemptions. You can buy anything from $25 bond up to $10,000 on a purchase but there's a limit of $10,000 per person per year. And there's a few exceptions. You can buy $10,000 and then if you're getting a tax refund, you can go over that 10,000 limit by redirecting your tax refund into a bond. For more details, just go to the website and, and do a little bit more research yourself. So I've already bought a $100 bond this week just to test out the system. So I am locked into my 7.12% rate. So going forward, I'd like to pay myself first. So in addition to an ongoing scheduled silver and gold budget, I plan to buy a $100 bond every two weeks coinciding with my paycheck. So it's up to you. There's no perfect system. In the way I want to manage my money going forward, there's still room for all of those categories. So the bank savings, maybe more the emergency money, no strings attached. I can get my money anytime I want. The U.S. savings bond would be pay myself first. I probably won't even miss the money and I would be protected against future inflation. And then ongoing silver and gold purchases. I think there's some benefits to having tangible wealth in your hands outside of the system that is protected against inflation, but on its own timing. If you also see some benefit in building up a savings and tangible assets such as silver and gold, please watch one of our featured videos. Thanks for watching.